Hello, welcome to part two. Um, we're going to remove this cover today. It's all got corrosion, as you can see. I've had all bolts soaking. I've, um, I've already undone the nut. To be fair, it wasn't that tight. Um, I'll put torque settings down in comments. So, here we go. Uh, this is um, a puller I've made. I'll, um, I'll write your measurements down so you can copy it. It's basically a bit flat bar. It'll, um, I'll undo these bolts here. Put the puller in. It'll force it off the bearing. And uh, hopefully make it a bit easier. I've noticed there's a few little uh, snap bolts here from cover. So I'll have a go at taking them out. So I should be going, should go all right. So I'd like to thank the new uh, subscribers. It's uh, very much appreciated and it keeps me going. So uh, yeah, keep uh, liking, subscribing. So right, we'll get these bolts out. Yeah, they're all, they're all slack these now. Right We've got all the bolts out, they come out alright. Now I've removed this cap here. You see it's got like a little o ring behind it. Next we need to take this bolt out. We use this tool to like press it out and hopefully it'll pull the cover off as well. You can see all the uh all these bolts are all the same size in case you want to fit stainless ones. I'll quickly measure them for you. You've got four here. Yeah, they're roughly what 35 mil. So that's how many you need if you want to replace them all. To be fair, they look look pretty bad on Ed, but the threads look immaculate still. So it's up to you if you want to change them. So the next tool you'll need is a E10 socket. I use these tang ratchets; they're quite good. <clears throat> they, uh, I won't mind um, if any of you guys know how to repair these or if you get a service kit because some of the uh, they're starting to slip a little bit, so maybe you could leave that in comments for me. Very much appreciated. So, yep, yeah, undo this. That's removed. So, get us uh, get us tool on there now. Let's see how that goes. Get that set up. like a nut there just to space it off there we go. so just starting to open up now <laughs> nice and slow So 
Put a little bit of pressure on there. There we go. Let's try not to prise off the face. Ta-da! Right then. So, part three, we'll explore a little bit inside here. And um, yeah, leave some comments, see which way you want to go, if you want to start taking a head off next. On part three, we could, we could take an head off, or strip the um, old followers down and things like that. Anyway, uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. It's uh, it's very good to see your comments, and um, I'll try my best to get whatever you want me to get next. Thank you very much. It's a cover removed. Um, I'd like to share something I found inside it. Um, a bit of swarf there. Sometimes I've done all changes on these. I keep finding bits of swarf. Um, bit of glistening inside oil changes. Um, be interesting if you were uh, guys when you do your oil changes. If you ever see anything left in oil pans. Um, back to the side. So. Clean seal up for you. We'll get a uh, get a part number off that. Get the type of seal. Yeah. This um, this seal I don't use when I uh, rebuild these. I use a different type of seal off the um, off the new BMW engines. I'll get you a part number for that. Um, it comes with a gator ring. I think they're personally a bit better than these ones. But it's still a BMW part. Um, so yeah, I'll find that for you. Okay, so I've uh, put the, the gear back on. See, it's on a keyway. That face there sits on the lower bearing. You'll also notice that there's two little dimples there. The timing marks, so these must go back timed. 